Archbishop Rembert Weekland left behind an embattled legacy. After 24 years leading the Milwaukee Archdiocese, Weekland retired in 2002 when allegations came to light. He sheltered and shuffled around priests within the church accused of sexually assaulting children. The church alluding to those allegations in Weekland's eulogy Tuesday. And many of us loved him. Some did not. We cannot dismiss their just anger, even as we try to make sense of it all. People were hurt, lives shattered and disillusioned. With the perks and power of leadership comes the burden of accountability for serious mistakes. The church also acknowledging Weekland's accomplishments, like helping promote women to leadership positions within the church and strengthening relationships with other religious leaders. The archdiocese banned news media from entering Weekland's mass. Outside, victim survivors stood in protest. Here, we have over 80 offenders that were systematically moved and transferred by the man who's being now sick now secretly honored. Nothing compares to facilitating the rape of hundreds and hundreds, possibly thousands of children. Um, I'm afraid that once you've done that, uh, that absolutely negates uh, whatever else you may have done in your life. Friends of Weakland came to his defense. Forgiveness, mercy, and again, leaving things up to God. Our job is to show respect for somebody who died whether a minor Catholic or a major Catholic. Rembert was deeply grieved by the hurt and the pain that his, his decisions made. The notion that he was unrepentant uh, is a fallacy. And Caroline is live with us tonight. Caroline, while the funeral mass was here, the burial is going to be elsewhere. That's right, he's going to be buried at St. Vincent Arch Abbey Cemetery in Latrobe, Pennsylvania. That service scheduled for Thursday, Derek. Caroline Reinwald reporting live tonight.